How are you doing guys? Zeta here. So we've got some interesting information relating to Stellar Blade and Shift Up, the studio who created Stellar Blade. Now recently Shift Up Studio had a financial report. They have revealed quite an interesting bit of information related to Stellar Blade and the future projects. So Stellar Blade initial sales exceeded Shift Up's expectations. That's fantastic news. And also meaning that when Stellar Blade did release at the end of April, it was a fantastic time to do so as well. There was not too much competition with similarities towards the games. And yet also they genuinely have exceeded the expectations from many and myself included how this game ended up being. It was a lot more fun than I first anticipated. So it genuinely deserves all of the best regards and kudos to Shift Up. Seriously, congratulations. Now, relating to Shift Up's next project is by the name of, well, code name of the Witches. Now, Project Witches is being developed with an objective is to increase the accessibility of the game to users through a multi-platform strategy. And now here's a little bit where it gets mm, perhaps somewhat vague. Their next project, and it wasn't necessarily mentioned that it's specifically Witches, but it's most likely is Witches. It's a cross-platform console PC and mobile next-gen triple, triple A urban science fiction action RPG built on the Unreal Engine. Now, the thing what makes it kind of curious, or at least interesting, this project, right, Project Witches, it is actually possible to be a sequel for Stellar Blade, but they're I'm purposely using a codename instead. But here's another interesting fact that they mentioned as well. They actually will be having a little bit of an expansion and investing in a new IPs in 2025. So it's possible that Studio, well, Shift Up Studio will be dividing their vision in terms of having Stellar Blade sequel and also a brand new IP. Now, nevertheless, like I mentioned regarding the Witches, right? Witches uh, project. It is still possible that this Witcher project is actually the, the brand new IP, but the way they have mentioned actually kind of refers to a lot to Stellar Blade. But nevertheless, I digress and I'm very much looking forward to see what they got in store for it because relating to Stellar Blade, there's actually a PC version and a sequel to Stellar Blade are already being considered. So that's genuinely fantastic news means that Stellar Blade is not going to get left behind and Eve is going to be brought into the sequel or whatever way they decide to go with the sequel for this game. Another curious thing I wanted to mention, back in May of 17th, about three days ago from now, Stellar Blade official site um, X, aka Twitter, they have released this little image, uh, get ready for next week, and just basically showcasing the finale of the you know main boss. And I just curious thing, it doesn't really tell us much what to expect out of it, but I do believe it is possible for it to be a photo mode, it could be a a boss rush mode or perhaps it is a new merchandise that you can make a purchase of or hell perhaps this is a completely new announcement and they'll announce a DLC or an expansion for Stellar Blade. Kind of doubt that to be honest with you since all their time and effort has been going towards this main game. And here's another thing, very very weird and I don't think we ever have seen something as awkward as this, not to say it's a bad thing but it is weird. <laughs> so Stellar Blade collaborates with a uh, Gami Korean burger and making a Stellar Blade burger. Well, let's just call it a Stellar Burger. And as you can see by this, whatever this is, it's quite unique. And it's only available in Australia. So that's kind of unfortunate. I would love to try this version of this burger or whatnot. <laughs> It genuinely is fantastic to see a studio pretty much never have been heard of before, on top of that being Korea, and yet now finally getting all the praise that it deserves. Man, seriously, congratulations once again. I really hope to see the sequel, and I'm very much looking forward to see what they got in store as well in terms of their brand new IPs included. Again, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.